So today we are going to uh, show you the demo of Magento Web to Print module. And this module is pretty handy and is very useful for creating a customized template uh, for your Magento product. So it's, uh, we are going to demonstrate uh, you the Web to Print module. So these are the feature for the web to print module. The web to print module is totally based on the JavaScript, CSS, and uh, HTML5 thing. So we are not using any flash uh, part in the customization of the template. So it's working in all the templates. It's pretty useful and very lightweight. So it will, it works on Chrome, in Firefox, in Safari in opera so it's it's working everywhere so like these are the features um like uh, admin can upload any number of images as a template and uh, um, they can put like they can add any number of font sizes colors and uh, let's proceed with the demo so that you can get it more and more so um, how it will work let's say suppose that um, let's say this is the product let's say this is the product let's say that means final so now uh, that means final product is here so when the customization or customization panel is there so you will see a customize it button right here so what you need to do you need to just click it over here so you will see a panel like um, this thing so suppose that if you want to add something so this is the area where you can put the text and you can edit the color and you can rotate the text like this suppose that if I want to change something so let's say I have added this one as a is the demo so I can put it over here so I can put something like color different color I can different font and then I click on the OK. So we'll see this is the demo thing right here. I can change the text size, let's say 12. And I just click it on OK. So you can see this is the demo. I can rotate this thing as well. And I, again, I second demo. I can choose a different color now oh, let's say and this is the second demo and I just moved it out right and then what I need to do yeah I need to do finalize the image and then we need to close it so you can see right here this is the image part is here this is the demo this is the second demo so suppose that if I'm a buyer so I, uh, I'll add this thing to add to the cart and and after adding to the cart you can see the view the text the font size the font and what is all these thing is right here so you can check it out you can proceed it out yeah all thing is right here so let's see if i did a proceed to check out thing and if you hover over here you can see the image as well so i am in the process of purchasing this template so it's like a standard magento let's say if i choose the check and money order part and And I just place the order so it's, it's like a normal you are like ordering a simple product simple magenta product the same way you need to do it so after um, placing an order like in the magenta is the same so nothing fancy all right so this is your order and you can check your order 
in your my account section as well so I'm in the order and you can see right over here that uh, uh, what you have ordered so uh, admin need to print those things so you can download it from here as well you can see there's a download section and there's a demo the font size is here font color is here the hexadecimal value of the font color the font is here as well so so let's proceed with the admin part how can you uh, add template and the product so what you need to do under the catalog manage product you just need to click on the catalog manage and you and you will see like these are the list of the products so you need to let's proceed with the from scratch so what i will do i will click on the add new product and you need to input the data for the product like name and sku and price whatever you like so um, you need to I, if i choose a simple product the attribute set i choose the default one so you need you can choose it anything that's not an issue so let's say this is a screencast demo and i just entered the normal data so i just put the scale as a screencast demo let's say if i put it in and the status is let's say enable and this is enable you need to uh, choose the customizer status to enable to enable it and then what you need to do you need to input the price let's say i just put 99 bucks and these are the normal magento stuff and then this um, inventory i just click it over here let's say something like that and stock then I choose the category hmm. and I choose the category let's say the default one and the t-shirt so what you need to do you need to just click on save and continue edit like the normal magento product and after saving it you will see there's a add template uh, you can see right over there there's a add template tab so what you need to do you need to add a template so if you can see on the tool tip we have explained everything like what should be the minimum is in a size you need to area you need to fill the area font size logo thing let's say if i choose a file all right If I choose a pattern one so you can you can select it anyone whatever you like so that's not an issue mm. okay let's say I just choose this one so what I need to do is right here we are uploading a pattern or you can put any any picture uh, which one you want to edit or you want to uh, so it's right now it's uploading after the up uploading part you can put the any number of fonts so here is the image so you can see here, the image is here so you need to enter the font size uh, it's a disclaimer right here enter multiple font size separate by comma so I will put like 12 14 16 and 18 and 20 okay and these are the font family so I can I can select any all of them or whatever I would like okay and then i need to add color of the text so i can choose any color right here so you can see it's pretty handy so that means you don't need any technical knowledge to add any web to print module in your site you don't need any third party api you really don't need any third party api and you don't need a monthly subscription kind of thing so you, it's a pretty useful and and easy to customize even if you want to uh, change the code uh, it's pretty it's, it's quite open 
and you can change the code so I have added these colors okay and what will happen and then after that we need to add the customized area so these customized area are the areas where the user user means the customer will enter the text so you can put some dummy text for the let's say I have added this dummy text right here this one is the dummy text so it's a dummy text like uh, if a user uh, want to change it so it will appear right there so what I need to do I just need to finalize the template and after the finalization you can click on save and continue edit all right so it has been saved now so you need to go to the front end of the demo this is the front front end of the demo and you can see here in the thumbnail there's a dummy text so 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 you can see right over here this is a dummy text so what you need to do suppose that these are the color color section which we have added from the admin so I can change any color and I can I will click on OK so it will change the color right here okay so like if I want to change the font to something else so I can change the text, font as well look that's pretty good it's pretty handy it's very easy to use right here okay so uh, but what will happen suppose that these are the restricted area so uh, um, user need to enter the text within this area uh, he'll not be able to put the text outside of this area let's take an example have a look over he, he cannot move outside of it it's a restricted area okay and I can finalize the image and under the order of the admin part of the suppose that if if we have a order something so how the admin will able to see it so it's it's like normal magento orders like let's say I have added the previous one it's a thousand bucks order and the code of this module is pretty open it's pure open so anyone can customize it so you can see uh, the previous order the text font size color right here um, and this is the uh, downloadable file so that admin can view what uh, the user has edited so you can see this is the text this is the pattern so he can change it so this is all about the dynamic web to print demo if you have any query or any doubt or anything just send us an email at support at webcool.com or visit our ticket support system and we will be very happy to help you out thanks for watching this video bye bye